what's up guys Servando Ramos here happy Easter Sunday to everybody so uh, continuing to work on the 1970 Mach 1 this is an, uh, a, a different engine than the original but it is a 351 supposedly this engine came out of a 94 pickup truck so uh, it is um, seeming to misfire a little bit um could be several things but i'm just gonna go one, one at a time first thing i'm gonna do is change the spark plugs uh the cap and rotor seem to be really really new i opened it up it's real clean inside so i'm not gonna mess with that um took out the first spark plug as you can see here first of all the champions i don't know that has anything to do with anything but they told me they prefer motocraft for Ford. And then I checked the gap on these. And the gap was only at... Let's see. Let me check it again here. See if I can hold the phone up while I'm doing it. The gap... Came out to be something crazy. It's like under 30 or something like that that's where the gap is well by looking online and a couple other websites everybody's to be everybody seems to be for this engine between 44 and 48 all the way up to 50 so i'm gonna go ahead and uh gap mine right above 45 about right there on all of them right about halfway um i'm gonna go through the process on every single one just take my time shouldn't be too difficult to get to maybe that back one but shouldn't be too hard and then uh i'll be back what's up guys servando ramos back at it with the 1970 mach 1 mustang with the I would, I guess you would call it an aftermarket 351 because it's an, it's a 1994 351 that the car came with. But uh, there's been a couple days since uh, I've been back on here and updated y'all. Just been busy, you know, with life. That's one thing about these cars. You gotta excuse the music in the background. All my neighbors around here, they got ranches and they got blasting music and stuff. So, but um. We're going to take another look at this car today. So, when we last talked, um, I was going to do a spark plug change. And I started changing the spark plugs just to give you all an idea of what, what I found under here. See if I can get it under the light. So, these, these spark plugs... And these are champions. They had champions in there in a Ford motor. I don't know if that's good or bad, but uh, I know that they didn't recommend me champions. They recommended me uh, motorcraft spark plugs. I didn't put nothing crazy, no top of the line spark plugs yet. I just did some basic motorcrafts. And that's right there, Ford motorcraft spark plugs. Uh, Motorcraft.com, we wanted more information on those. But um, I did change uh, all the spark plugs out. When I got to the last spark plug, right over here on the left-hand side, well, to, to my, in my order, I, mean, I don't know the no exact number of it, but uh, the tip, the whole tip of the spark plug was broken off. As soon as I took the boot off, it just came apart. So that may have been the problem of it misfiring. Um, so this is gonna be the startup. Uh, if you, you probably noticed, got me a nice little shiny Edelbrock air filter on top of the engine, uh, courtesy of my local AutoZone. And there you go, that's the Edelbrock Pro Pro Flow air cleaner. This this thing was probably only about maybe 35 bucks. Uh, and it, look, it looks really nice. Here's the original one, and I know some of you classic car guys might be upset that I took it off but I have it here it's, still, it's not the actual original engine so I'm not too worried about staying so original with the with the engine area 
Uh, also, like the hoses and stuff weren't even connected, so pretty much wasn't doing any any big. Uh, it's not gonna make a big big difference other than looks. But I just went ahead and got that just because it's all I can afford to get right now, other than painting painting the car for ten thousand dollars. But uh, anyways, so. Let's go ahead and try to crank this thing up. It was making a really bad noise. I also did change the belt going to the power steering pump. This was very, very loose. Now you can see it's really snug and tight. Tightened all that up back up. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start it up and see what's going on. I got my custom speaker box seat in here since I took the interior out. Oh, that's okay. So see some dash lights in here and you can barely even see them turn on but they did turn on wow pretty pretty quick the baby's ready to go so let's go over here it's actually running pretty smooth nice and quiet way big difference Wow. So uh, next next uh, video will be a, a street test. Tonight's a little little too dark to go out on the street with this thing, just because I don't trust the brakes and stuff. I haven't got a chance to check all that stuff. But uh, you can see them front lights, them sport lights. looking pretty good guys what do you know the radio works well actually it does work i gotta find some uh i got it doesn't show the channels but i can kind of seek some channels and the radio work but uh we're a long way from trying to jam the radio while we're driving this thing but appreciate y'all tuning in this thing is running pretty nice uh it looks like it's idling really, really good. So I'll probably make this a two part, two part video and show you driving it on the street tomorrow once we get some sunlight out. Thank you for tuning in guys. And also,